the mini rundown 12 days of christmas edition we are like getting swing of these uh videos i don't even know how many we've recorded this far but um i've been enjoying it how about you it's been fun it's def it's been christmasy <laughs> <laughs> for sure and this video actually is for those that may not be quite in the christmas spirit just yet especially you know being in this time that we're in in a global pandemic i'm sure a lot of people are maybe not as celebratory as they would be in years past and especially i mean in general the holidays can be tough for some maybe dealing with loss of loved ones you know it's always hard dealing with the absence of those that were once there that made the holidays special for you so we wanted to you know give our little quick tips for ways to get into the christmas spirit during this that is COVID-19 <laughs> time, all of the things. So we're going to keep it short and sweet. So five tips. Tip number one. Rumi, what is that? Because I don't remember. <laughs> so tip number one is to reflect on your faith and also to focus on gratitude and what you are thankful for this season. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you saw what you should have, but around Thanksgiving, we posted an attitude of gratitude video where we yep. really talked about- It's gonna be up in the cards, so make sure you click that if you haven't watched they it. They're gonna see it, they'll see it this time. You're gonna see it, you're gonna see it, so make sure you watch that. Okay, anyway, go ahead, sorry. But um, where we talked about just the benefits of practicing gratitude and different ways that you can incorporate that into your life. Mm -hmm. So like she said, it is kind of a different year and we can find a lot of reasons to why we may not be in a Christmas spirit. But if we stop and reflect on the good things that happened this year and a lot of blessings that have occurred this year, even right now, I think that'll help to get you in the Christmas spirit as well as just thinking of other people as well. And maybe it's just even if it's just the people in your life that you're grateful for at this time, that's more than enough. Absolutely. Like. Just thinking about the reason for the season, you know, of course, your faith and why you celebrate Christmas is, you know, huge. And then, yeah, what you're grateful for, like, despite so many hardships, we we have something, even if it's one thing, you have something to be grateful for. So reflect on that, and I guarantee it'll boost your mood and make you feel a little bit more cheery. Right, so tip number two is to get creative. And with that, don't necessarily feel like, oh, you have to be a quote unquote creative person like everybody has the ability to create something so whatever it is that you enjoy doing whatever is your gift do that and I guarantee like when you're in your element and enjoying what you do like those juices creative just get flowing you just you feel better so if you like to cook if you like to bake get in the kitchen do that if you like to craft pull out your craft kit do that if you like to sing record something or just sing for the fun of it karaoke find some karaoke <laughs> tracks on youtube and yeah. sing your heart out um whatever if you're a musician keyboard drums whatever do something like just get creative make a youtube video we on youtube right now youtube is for the creatives you know so do something that you haven't done right writing is great it's therapeutic also so you can release so emotions and then you know it's gonna help boost your mood so just get creative and i guarantee you like you'll be feeling a bit more festive make something christmasy you know mm -hmm. it'll be fun speaking of christmasy did you guys see our apartment decor tour if you haven't we go we'll, we'll throw that up there as well of course but mm -hmm. in addition to being creative guys christmas gives you the outlet to decorate and just go crazy with whatever mm -hmm. you want. So you can always look online on Pinterest or YouTube or whatever and just decorate your home. Get into the spirit by seeing Christmas around you. Find yourself a cute little nativity scene. Mm -hmm. Put your tree up. I know so many people who don't put up a tree. Right. My heart, like, <laughs> put up your Christmas tree. That, that deeply hurts her because her decor, she don't play about decor. Like, watch a Christmas tag. Watch our decor tag, which is like literally right after that. And um, you would see like... Put up your tree. Do and it. even if it's a little tree, that's okay. That's okay. Those matter too. And once again, pick out like a really cute color scheme that you would like to see. Find some little reindeer, elf, snowman, whatever you whatever feel. Boat, even if it's like, non-traditional. Go right. with that. Like, you know, we live in Florida. So a lot of people like to do beach themed, mm -hmm. you know, like blues and creams yeah. and stuff like that. Some do winter wonderland, but in Florida, you know, beach and stuff like that. <laughs> or, you know, be more whimsical. Like, fairy. I've seen a lot of very nice fairy 
cutesy mm -hmm. like purples and greens and pinks it's not traditional but it's be it can be beautiful if you know how to do it right don't do right. it to where it's tacky anyway um we gonna get sidetracked <laughs> on to the next tip what about your christmas music hello um music is a mood changer no matter what time of year it is it can literally change your mood depending on what it is you're listening to so if you haven't gotten to the christmas spirit um bust out your favorite christmas song uh mine personal whitney houston's joy to the world that's just that <laughs> That does it for me, but I have been playing my Christmas music for a hot minute now, and it just, it puts you in the Christmas spirit. Wait, and if you want to do it, just at a random time. If you love Christmas music and you don't like waiting for Christmas season to come around, just play it whenever. Mm -hmm. Ruby will play Christmas music in the summer. She don't care. Makes me happy. <laughs> it does. <laughs> do what makes you happy, but this is like the perfect time. Bust mm -hmm. out your Christmas music and just have a good time and you can't go wrong better yet play your music while you decorate yes. i mean i mean that you're supposed to do it like that anyway yeah. but as you're putting up your tree that's now mandatory for your life <laughs> also have on your christmas music go to youtube and you know there's something for everybody mm -hmm. if you like country if you like hip-hop r&b pop whatever it is throw on gospel, music from yeah christmas throw on your music from whatever your favorite genre is or maybe that you have a favorite movie and they have a christmas soundtrack like yeah. we've been blasting jingle jingle for a few days it's good so, it's good put on the music guys mm -hmm. dance around to it like you said before be creative maybe have a little karaoke party with yourself mm -hmm. or make a little christmas tiktok or something yeah. i'm too old for tiktok right but i, I <laughs> I ain't even fooling But do it. it. The but point is to have fun. Y'all enjoy TikTok. But there's reels on Instagram. Y'all do that too. It's basically the same thing, but I still mm -hmm. haven't even played around with that. But anyway, music. Get to the music. Guarantee it's going to be great no matter what. And that's just a life tip in general. If you yeah. feel it down, put on some music and you're going to feel better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the next thing you can do to get in the Christmas spirit is to reach out to friends and family and talk about some of your favorite Christmas memories with them or maybe some Christmas plans that you have for this year because they can also suggest things for you. Mm -hmm. Like I love to reminisce on the things that my family and I did as we were growing up and even things that we like to do now, like new traditions that we brought into the family. Mm -hmm. And those things just, I don't know, they just bring you so much joy. Or even look at old Christmas photos. Like, I love looking at pictures of little kids with Santa Claus because they are the funniest and the cutest <laughs> things you will see. Yeah, Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, they either going to love the it Grinch. or they going to be, yeah, like, crazy. I'm trying to, I have a couple, I was good. I was good at recalling some of my old Christmas pictures with Santa. I was good. And then, of course, like, you know, the gifts when you little, holding your gifts and stuff oh by the goodness. tree. I can recall a specific one where I had a couple Barbies and I had my little plaid pajamas on. I was cute. I think I even had roses in my hair. I have to find that picture somewhere. Y'all probably ain't going to see it because I don't think I'm going to the house between now and editing this. But anyway, you know, just good old Christmas memories. It's just like Christmas as a kid and Christmas as an adult are two different things. So sometimes you just need that reminder of, like, what it felt like to enjoy Christmas as a kid. And it'll just boost you spirits like you know what let me have that child like spirit for christmas time as an adult even if it's gifting yourself something that you've always wanted mm -hmm. i feel like that would be i would that would that would make me happy like <laughs> you know what i've always wanted this or if you're at the age where you have kids now and like i never got this as a kid for christmas and i want this so get it for your kids live, live by parents and <laughs> your kids we don't got no kids yet but i i'm gonna get i've always wanted one of them cars that you can ride in and i never got one so my kids are gonna have one <laughs> you know random stuff like that you know just enjoy yeah. enjoy and talking to them should lift your spirits as well if mm -hmm. you guys do have some distance between you just yeah. talking with people laughing joking around be on video call if you can so that you can walk around the house together and just joke time. around about things look at their mannerisms <laughs> and just laugh at them i mean there's Everybody nothing the better voice. there's yeah. nothing better than connecting and being able to laugh with the people that you love absolutely and we only have one more tip left guys we're just gonna keep it short and sweet so tip number five so tip number five is find or go and create your own 
a local light show. So actually, if you haven't seen it already, we went to go through a drive through light show recently. I will link the video again up in the cards. We got a lot of video references for y'all in this one. But we went to a drive through light show. Like I feel like lights is always like a spirit lifter for Christmas time personally. Like it's beautiful. Like the amount of effort and work people in to put into doing their light displays. Like don't let their hard work go to waste. Go and enjoy yourself. Some are paid. Like we paid to go see lights, but there are plenty of free places you can go even if you know if you live in a neighborhood or close to a neighborhood that is notorious for having a bunch of christmas lights just go on a drive and enjoy go walk around your neighborhood do something mm -hmm. and i guarantee those lights will just make you feel a little cheery oh my gosh yes the fact that we live in florida so we're not dealing with snow so you really can walk around in the evening yes. with your dog or with your kids mm -hmm. and look at the lights and a lot of times, you know, we have neighbors outside so safely, you know, just say hey to everybody. Like, I love your light display. Yeah. Like, you can find hidden gems in every neighborhood, I think. There's always that person near the back whose home is just lit. So I just suggest going through there or driving in your car, grab some hot cocoa or something or... Well, it depends on what your weather is yeah, like. Yeah, snack but of choice, whatever, and snacks, just enjoy. And, and enjoy it. Like, admire their creativity. I mean... Put up your own lights if you want to. If not, that's okay. But like us, we live in an apartment, so we kind of have to leave in order to see lights mm -hmm. displays, but we still enjoy looking at our neighbor's balconies and everything mm -hmm. like that. And seeing other people's lights just kind of makes you light up as well. It does. So with that said, it's just file short and sweet. If you have any more tips for somebody that may be struggling to get into this Christmas spirit, leave them down in the comments below. And with that said, we are going to peace out and we'll see you guys in the next 12 Days Christmas video. Remember to subscribe, y'all. Uh, that's a bonus tip. Subscribe to the Ruby Rundown and I guarantee you will be feeling like nice and cheery and it'll also make us happy. Okay, anyway, subscribe and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, Ruby. Bye.